Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Bruno Spengler, racing driver in DTM for BMW and I won the championship in the year 2012. I welcome you here in the Geneva Auto Show where we're going to introduce you to that wonderful new 3 Series GT Gran Turismo and this is very interesting for me too because we've got a couple of questions from our Facebook fans who are very interested in that new brand new Gran Turismo and to answer this question I got with me uh, BMW's chief designer Karim Habib. Hi Bruno. Nice to meet you. I'm going directly to our first question here. Okay. Alexander Mutz is his name and he's asking about the front of the car. Looks really great but it's so different from the limousine and the touring. Why? Well I think it's an evolution of it. If we look at it you can see that the kidneys and the headlamps are connected the way they are in the 3 Series. But this is a 3 GT. It's got a bit more status, a bit more presence. So the kidneys are higher, they're wider and therefore actually illustrate the car more. More status, more presence, actually even more sportiness. Ron Hasnot is asking the meaning of these boomerang shaped holes on the side. Can you tell us about it? I think you know better than anybody else how important aerodynamics is. This actually has the function of lowering the air pressure that's in the wheel well. So the air that comes into the wheel well is led out through this, what we call the air breather. René Bo Peterson asked if there is an automatic up and down system on the spoiler in the back of this car. There is, and it's one of my favorite things on this car. It allows the rear to be low and wide, so very sporty, and it actually comes out at around 110 kilometers an hour. Well, that's kind of the racing philosophy, is it? The next question comes from Mr. Oak Shayanan Sangshamang, and this question is for me very interesting because he's asking if there's going to be an M version of the 3 GT series. Mm. Well, as you can see, this car has an M Sport pack. So this is the first, the first step. You can see the M logo, it's got the M front and rear, and it makes the car that much sporty. But who knows, we still have a few secrets. So if there's enough maybe questions on Facebook, something could happen. Now this question is from Steven Wugber, and he's saying the GT looks okay, but its arrival means the end of the tradition wagon in the US, does that mean it? No, it doesn't. You will still be able to buy a 3 Series Touring, but we now have two concepts that allow typical BMW dynamics, typical BMW elegance, and on top of that functionality, like both of these concepts offer. Now we have been talking about how sporty this car is and how dynamic this car is, but I'm very impressed of the space we have in the back. I mean, you can travel easily four people at high speeds, I guess, so that's amazing. Tell us about it. That's exactly it. I mean, the car looks on the outside, you know, it has this coupe-like silhouette, so it looks sporty, it looks dynamic, looks elegant as well, I think. And on the interior, it has more space. It's got 11 more centimeters between the front and the rear than on the 3 Series, so it offers exactly that. Well, thank you very much for that. You really convinced me about that car, and I'm probably going to take one for myself. So, thanks a lot. It's nice to hear. Thank All right, you. see you soon. Ciao, take care.